All right. So we did it. Let's call that a sand drawing study. Okay, I learned a lot. I mean, it was awesome. I think I really want to do a good sand drawing. This was left of it down there. Now I got to get back to work, meaning I got to log on to the Zoom machine and catch you guys. So I can't let the whole thing get taken out by the Schwabs. Um, but as far as the study is concerned, this is the first time I've done a big sand drawing. I have a great spot here I found. I think a big part of doing earth art and any of the, anything in general is gonna be timing. And I kinda chanced this one with a low tide and a rising sun and an incoming tide. Hey, Sting! Whoop! Other way, we're gonna go straight. He's up ahead, jamming up there. Um, low tide and all that fun stuff. So like, what I think I'm gonna do in the future is draw it out first, um, have more than one camera, if I'm gonna film it at all. You know, it's not really about filming, it's about doing it and taking a, a photograph at the end. Um, or, you know, doing a single time lapse and having the time to do it. Probably bring a cup of coffee with me. Um, yeah, just take my time. And, but I mean, the timing today was great. There it is, another view of it, maybe a snapshot, just kind of ST and what's left of it down the way. Um, I thought about it a lot yesterday when I knew I had to get it done before I saw you guys. Hey buddy, we're gonna go this way. And so, um, it's just a nicer walk. Do you want to go for a walk out on the edge over there? And he wants to head home it's early. I, I dragged him out early too. So now he wants to have, I didn't even have breakfast yet. Anyway, so that's my earth art, um, sand drawing. I'm going to call it a study and I'm going to do another one. I would still give myself 300 points for that one. Cause again, it's not about the exact time it took you to do the project. You got up early, you figured out the timing, you set up the cameras, all that stuff counts for time. You know, it might've only taken us 15, 20 minutes to do the drawing, um, but shoot, I'd like to do one, like a big drawing, take up that whole beach as the tide's bottoming out. And then when it turns around, have the whole thing filmed as it's like getting washed out or the sun's coming up or something cool like that. Um, so here we are, just cruising the tracks once again. A big part of earth art, terra art, land art, land works. It's just getting out into nature, using only what you can find in nature um, and making art and it's one and done. It should be, that thing will be gone in another hour. And it wasn't about having something that could be viewed for ever. It's more about the process of making it and the creativity and the getting out and the exercise while you're out. So that being said, excuse me, um, get your projects done. Three small ones worth 100 point, one big one, 100 point, 100 points, one large one worth 300 points. We've been working on this for the last couple of weeks and I think we're just about done for now. Well, we're never done with earth art. We'll do it for the rest of your life, so hopefully. I definitely am. So, that being said, get out there, get into nature, respect, be cool, stay in school, peace!